Hey y'all, it's Barbie. As you can see, I have a new background because I have moved into a new house and my bedroom has a nook where I can put all of my supplies, the products that I review, and stuff that I use on a daily basis. So anyway, today we are doing a review on five different lip plumpers. Four are plumping tools and one is a topical. And I've done a list, one through five, and um, I'll start with five on my list and work my way up. Sorry, I keep looking to the right. It's because I have a win I'm upstairs and I have windows that lead out to the front yard and I keep seeing cars go across the road <laughs> and I'm not used to that yet so anyways let's get started grab a pen and a paper because I'm going to tell you about each tool where to get it and how much it costs okay before you get started make sure you have clean dry lips I use baby wipes that have a little bit of moisturizer in them to clean my lips you need to make sure that they're free of any kind of oil or lipstick or lip gloss. Super clean. Okay, now my lips are completely clean. Another thing that I do, which helps stimulate your lips, is I take a toothbrush when I'm brushing my, done brushing my teeth. I take my toothbrush and brush over my lips and that gets rid of any dry cracked lips or anything and then I put on a moisturizer Carmex or Blistex or whatever I have available so always make sure that your lips are clean and dry before starting to use any lip plumping tool or product okay so coming in at number five on my list is Liptiful I don't know you can read that or not. Liptiful. And Liptiful is made by a lady named Joanna Shepard. And um, Jo is a mom of eight children. She's a stay-at-home mom and she homeschools her kids. Um, she stated that to me, because I've been in contact with her and I just adore her. She's, she's just one of those people that you could fall in love with easily, very easy to talk to, very passionate about her product. Um, she stated to me when I asked her what she would like me to bring forth about her um, that she always wanted to be an inventor, but her 10-year-old daughter gave her this idea to make the Liptifuls back in 2011. She started with a patent app thinking that it would be fun to teach kids about patent laws. She then tested it a year before starting to sell it and she opened her shop in October of 2012. She sells these and they come in different shapes and sizes. This one's a rose. And that's what it looks like on the inside. And I'll show you the others in a minute. Um, these sell for $15.00. And she also sells all natural cocoa bilberry lip honey for five dollars. And if you break, if you break your lip to full, um, she'll replace it for six dollars. But I can tell you they're hard. I mean, we've dropped them, we've thrown them, <laughs> and lip. Uh, jo actually has a couple videos of her kids where they're dropping them purposely on the floor and they're just not breaking. But, you know, you never know. Um, first impressions for me, I love it. I love the designs. My camera's backwards, so I'm acting a little crazy today. That one's the rose. She also has lips for someone that has wider lips and on all the tools it says lip to full she also has a heart actually you know let me show you the other set of lips it has the lanyard on it so you can hang it around your neck and 
and I have it tied. So that's the other set of lips. Now she has a heart. And if you want a lanyard, you just let her know and she'll have it made so that you have a lanyard. So this is a heart with a lanyard that can hang around your neck. Now the thing I like about these is number one, you can stick them in your wallet or purse, small purse, and you can take them with you when you go. The idea with, I keep getting hair in my mouth, I'm sorry, the idea with the Liptiful tool, and on first impression, I will say this is a little heavy. To me, it's just a little heavy. Um, and it feels like it's made out of ceramic, like some kind of, well, I'd say pottery, but it's, it's a real strong material, I guess. But anyway, um, the idea is that you put it up to your lips and suck in, and once you get suction, let it sit for anywhere, anywhere from 30 seconds to a minute and if that's not enough then put it back on and do it a little bit more now I've tried this already and this is the only reason it's coming in at number five I cannot get it to hold suction for me at all um, I know that it works I've seen so many videos that it's not even funny because I did so much research on this particular type of product Lip, uh, lip plumping tool. So I know it works. It's just not working for me. And one of the things Joe says is that the point behind this is to build up your muscles in your lips. Um, and that will help with the plumping idea. So anyway, the idea again is that you suck on it. And then once you get suction, you want to move your lips around a little bit and try to tighten these muscles up in here and you know it's gonna take a while to get it started um, I have heard people say you know that they don't get suction right away um, and it does take practice I'm one of those people that wants gratification right then right now and so if you're looking for a product that you don't have time to really put use into it, I wouldn't try it. I mean, I, I honestly, I know it works, but I, I can't. Here, I'll show you the best I can do. So put it up to your lips and suck. It falls off of me. It doesn't stay. I, I can get it to stay this way. Okay. So I'll try the heart one too. I can't get it. But again, I I know it works. It just doesn't work for me. I mean, I if it worked for me, I, I would buy it in a harp, harpy. It just doesn't work for me. But I know it works. I've seen other people use it. I've seen the videos. And it works amazingly. So anyway, the only reason it's coming out at five for me is because I personally can't get it to work. And it's not their fault it's mine I want instant gratification I don't want to have to put in the time to get suction and then start working those muscles it's not their fault it's mine but anyway uh, again this is Liptiful Liptiful L I P T I F U L and you can find these on Etsy E T S Y Dot com. I think she also has them on eBay now, and you can find her on Facebook. Just type in Lip to Full, L-I-P-T-I-F-U-L. So, again, I know that they work. I just don't 
have the time and I just want instant gratification. So that would just be totally unfair for me to say, oh, this product doesn't work. No, it does work. It just doesn't work for my needs. So anyway, um, so moving on to the next one. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I will also put all the links that I mentioned just a minute ago down in the description of the video. Okay, well, we're back, and I'm doing the reviews on lip plumpers today. Coming in at number four is the IGEA Lip Pump Enhancer. And the idea is you need to get suction, which draws blood into your lips and causes them to plump. So, let's see how this works. Oh, oops, I don't think that was supposed to happen. Okay, well, so when I pulled it apart, that little piece came off, and I think it goes here, but I can't get it to go back on. So, oh, maybe that did it. Nope. Nope. All right, well. Let me try to work on it and um, see if I can fix it. Okay, so this is like totally broken. First time trying to use it, so I can't even do a review on it. So, uh, I think you can buy that for $20. Okay, so we're still doing lip plumping tools. And number three on my list is Full Lip. Comes in a little package like this. Really cute. I love it. And inside the package, you have a toothbrush. Because, like I said in my earlier videos, exfoliating your lips before plumping is something you need to get used to doing so they actually send you a toothbrush to do that this is instructions which I'd be lying if I said I didn't already look at them but she also included a note for me she personalized a note which I really like the fact that she did that and I only ordered the large round because I have big lips because I have a big mouth I ordered this one which is the large round and this guy cute little lipstick on the back but she sent me a small oval and I'll show you how these two are going to work out Okay, you can get them on fulllips.com, F-U-L-L-I-P-S.com, down in the link. I'll put it down there in the description. Um, price is, for a large round, which is this one, is $19.99. A medium oval, which I don't have, is $19.99. A small oval, which I do have, is $19.99. And then she also has some deals. You can get any two combo pack for $35.99 or you can get a three pack of your choice for $49.99. So if this product works, it's probably worth the money. Okay, so here we go. Exfoliate your lips. Again, I normally do this when I'm brushing my teeth. My lips are pretty exfoliated. So this is the large round. And what you want to do is you're going to stick it to your mouth. And then, and then suck in to get suction. And once you get suction, your lips will feel like they're starting to go inside here. Inside this hole here. So you want to do that for about 30 seconds to see how far your lips come out. You don't want to overdo it. Um, I have overdone it. And it looks like 
you have duck lips. So let's try. I'm going to do it for 30 seconds. I'll stop the camera so you don't have to sit here and be bored with me. So let's get the stuck on first. You can see my top lip is a little plumper. I didn't leave it on that long. And when you're just starting to use these tools, don't overdo it because you can bruise your lips. Trust me, I know. So I'm going to do it again. I'm focusing more on the bottom lip, so I'm going to get more section on the bottom. keeps wanting to fall off. Um, they did say that if you can't get section to wet um, your lips, so I'm going to try that with a baby wipe. So I'm just going to dampen my lips and see if we can get it again. Actually, they got pretty plump in the right in here where the cupid's bow is and right here, but the corner's not so much. I can tell the difference. So that was the large oval. And now I'm just gonna use the small I mean excuse me, that was the large round. I'm just gonna use the small oval because I want some more definition right at the cupid's bow. By the way, if you didn't know. That's called a Cupid's bow. So I'm going to use this sideways. And it's the same concept. You'd probably be able to see more definition if I had lipstick on. But actually you can see that it made my lips pink. You can tell the blood has come to the surface on my lips. So, yeah, this is number three. I, I like it. Um, I don't know if you can notice it or not, but there is a little bit of a crease from where the circle went over my lips. I can actually see it more defined underneath. Um, I'd say for the price that these are worth the price that you pay for them. Um, and, and I would use them on a daily basis. They're small enough to fit in your purse, so on and so forth. So, again, you can get these at Full Lips, F U L L I P S dot com. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll put the links down in the bottom. Okay, so coming in at number two for lip plumpers, for lip plumpers is actually a topical product and this is called <laughs> what is it called? No, it's called Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme and you can get this at Sephora I think Sephora is the only place you can buy it you can probably find it on eBay every once in a while but it's pretty pricey it's like $22 for this tube that I'm getting ready to open. So, this is what it looks like. It's clear. And basically, this is, um, like I said, it's a topical that you put on. And what it does is it irritates your lips. It has like some kind of a menthol or peppermint in it. So what you do is you put it on and then you let it sit for a few minutes. Oh, I don't have a mirror. You want to make sure that you don't go over your lips because it is an irritant and it will cause you to have 
a red mark on the outside of your lip. So. I think I have enough on. So I'm going to let it sit for about five minutes. Let me get in really close. And you guys can come back in about five minutes to see how well it works. Okay, so I've had on the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme by Sephora for about five minutes, maybe a little bit more. And I just wanted to show you. It does work. I, I mean, it doesn't, it's supposed to sting a lot, but it doesn't sting a lot. I, I don't know. Just, it smells really good. It has like a bubble gummy smell. And when you put on, when you put it on, it, you know, it tingles your lips, but it doesn't, it doesn't hurt. At least it doesn't hurt for me. Um, it is very pricey, you know. This tube right here, $22. Very pricey. But, again, you know, this is something you can stick in your pocketbook. And, you know, if you're going somewhere and you just want to have that extra little pout to your lips, um, put it on a couple minutes before you get where you're going. I will put the link to Sephora where you can purchase the um, lip injection, Too Faced Lip Injection. I'll put it down in the bottom. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and keep a lookout for number one. Okay, so this is my final review on lip plumpers. Coming in at number one is the Bomb Diggity Candy Lip for her and for him. This product was made by Dr. Theana Ho. Took the lid off. Comes in a cute little case. I love it. And Dr. Ho has a. Um, she actually has a couple of Guinness Book of World Records that she has. Uh, done and one of them is for the longest wall sit and I think it was I think she was like 11 hours and some change okay so inside the little box of course your little this is your plumper and this was actually sitting up here and oops so this is also inside your box comes a book with instructions on how to use. And I believe that Dr. Ho is the only one that has a patent on the double lobed plumper. And what I mean is Everyone who knows Angelina Jolie knows that she has like a little line right there. Oops. So, this is for the double lobe. If you want to do the line like Angelina Jolie does. And she also has a blocker for, for this in case you just want to plump your bottom lip or your top lip and let me see if I can okay so here's the lobe blocker looks like this you see it it's bendable but if you only want to plump your top or your bottom lip this blocker is going to go in here like that I'm not going to I'm not going to um put it on right now because I still haven't plumped my lips yet. Also, you're going to get a rubber band type thingy. I'm sure there's a name for it. And that's going to go around the rim of your tool to protect your lips from 
getting bruised. I did try this without this little band and it bruised my lips horribly. And everything is so backwards on my camera, I'm sorry. So anyway, I don't want to do the double lobe just yet. I want to do the just the regular plumping and then I'll show you what the double lobe looks like. That little white box that was in the in the uh, cakes in the carrying case is a timer. And she recommends between 30 seconds and 2 minutes. You can set the timer for 2 minutes. or four minutes. I'm going to set it for two. Okay. I'm going to do the single lobe and I'm going to set my timer for two minutes. I'm going to set that down. This is the way I like to squeeze it. You always want to make sure the top lips match with this one. Push in the back like that. And then pucker. Because you want to get as much of your lip onto this as possible. So I'm going to pucker. When I loosen this up, it's going to suck my lips a little bit. And we're going to leave it on for two minutes. So I'll just stop the video and come back when two minutes is up. Wow. Not quite Angelina Jolie, but a lot plumper. And according to Dr. Ho, the more you use this product, the faster your lips will plump and eventually your lips will start looking like they're already plumped. Um, I think that's going to take a little while. Uh, what else do I have? Oh, I want to show you guys the double lobe lip. You can see I don't have a double lobe right here on the bottom. So I'm going to do the double lobe, which has this two pieces on here, and that's going to go on the bottom, but I'm going to start off this way. This is how I do it. I push in from the bottom, facing outwards. Push in really good. And then I flip it and put it on my lips. And there goes the timer. Okay, here we go. Pucker. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Double lobed. That's a double lobed lip, like Angelina Jolie's. I love it. Let's put on a little bit of lip gloss and see, or lipstick and see what happens. That's what it looks like. I totally missed the top of my lip.
Wow. That is amazing. So it's Candy Lips, C A N D Y Lips with a Z, L I P Z dot com. And so this is what comes in the, um, Apple set. You'll get you'll get two. Um, the one downfall is that it's not small. It's you know, it's the size of an apple, really. It's really the size of an apple. But you can get them in green and red. Then they also make one for the guys, and this one. This is so cute. It has everything in it that the female package has. This one is blue. I know they also make a black one. And I'm going to be getting either my husband or my son to do this one for me. Also, I'm going to have my daughter, who is nine, do a, re a review of this product <clears throat> just so that we can show you how easy it is to use. So um, for the Candy Lips Apple Set, which is two, you get two, it's $119.99. And then for the Model Apple, which is just one, is $69.99. The Men's is $69.99. And um, I definitely would pay that amount twice. Um, look at, I mean, they're, they're plump and they're supposed to stay that way for up to two hours and the more you do it, the less you have to do it. So it's a product that I am going to use every day. Uh, event, like the videos I've watched, it's, you know, it shows women that have used it for a week and then two weeks, three weeks, a month, and, you know, so on and so on. And their lips are plumper where they haven't even had to plump at all anymore because they're, they've gotten that blood into the lips, which causes them to plump. And I love it. I just absolutely love it. This is the product that I'm going to use that I would recommend as number one on the market. Uh, also, an, on another note, I uh, just want to say thank you to Dr. Ho because uh, I had some medical issues going on and she was very kind and constantly stayed in contact with me. Um, I just, she's just a lovely lady to, um, to know. So again, candylips.com and if I'm not mistaken, I believe these are Dr. Ho's lips. And I'll put video description and links to all of the products uh, down in the description box. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and keep checking back for more reviews. Have a lovely day, guys. Mwah!